All right, so the dust is settled, the beef is done, and I think we all can agree that Kendrick Lamar came out on top. And if we're being honest, the internet really came in second place. <laughs> I go by the name of Hemingway. I'm an independent artist and creator, and I've been releasing music for well over a decade, and I'm still at it. Today, I got some independent information I decided to bring to the squad, so let's talk about it. We're almost... 100 million views between two of hip hop's biggest stars today in the middle of a rap feud. Who you think had the biggest payday between the two? I got a creator named Just Notified who actually leans more towards the financial realm. And he does a breakdown about how much Drake and Kendrick approximately received as far as being paid for YouTube streams. So I'm not even going to talk too much more. I'm going to let him get into it, but it's definitely not what you're thinking it is. That's the crazy part. Over the past few weeks, the internet has been shook by the Kendrick Lamar and Drake diss tracks. And you would think that between the millions of views that each video got, that these rappers would be cashing in. But after looking into it, I found out how and how much YouTube paid both of these icons for this viral moment in history. And you won't believe how little they made. So let's go back to the first official track where it all started, when Drake uploaded the song Push Ups to YouTube on April 19th. Within hours, this upload started getting millions of views on YouTube, and it debuted at number 19 on the Billboard charts. But not only did the song itself start getting more attention, but it also got people talking. And with this being the first direct diss track that was dropped, the comment section was going insane. And this kind of engagement forced YouTube to push the video to a wider audience. To date, this upload has gotten over a quarter million likes with nearly 25,000 comments. That's crazy. And as far as the amount of views, over 9 million people clicked on this infamous cover art and listened to this four minute song. Now, the reason why the view count is important is because YouTube pays creators a certain dollar figure per 1,000 views that their video gets. But only channels that have at least 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time are eligible to receive money from YouTube. Now, that's something that um, it's, it's a small thing, but if you are new to YouTube, depending on how you've been approaching it, um, this is the current threshold for actually being a part of the YouTube partnership program and actually getting paid or monetized for the streams and the views that you're getting. Basically they put ads in front of your videos in order for you to get paid. But with, um, with all that, with all that, like the, I'm trying to, I'm getting a little tongue tied, but the likes and the comments, I feel like when I look at videos, I'm so used to seeing, a few hundred comments, maybe even a thousand comments on some that like, that seems like so much, but 25,000 don't seem like a lot, but that's to, to, to be a video like that, 25,000 comments. That's, that is, that's more than I guess I realized. And I, I thought, I, I thought I'm used to seeing that, but I'm not. And then the, the likes is crazy. And this ain't even like a, it's not a billion stream video, but that's just a lot of that's a lot of interaction. And as y'all know, this stuff happened in a short period of time, but I'm gonna let him get back into it to receive money from YouTube. And obviously, Drake and Kendrick are well beyond both criteria. Now, obviously. I'll get into how much each artist earned per 1000 views later on in this video. But first, let's take a look at the view counts for all of the songs in this series. First, that said, Kendrick's response to push ups by Drake came just a couple weeks later on April 30th with a song titled Euphoria. And this drop caused some major waves on YouTube by not only racking up millions of views within hours on its own, but other YouTubers were also getting millions of views just by reacting to the song. This upload from Kendrick had the highest number of first day streams for any rap songs released this year with over 9 million downloads within the first 24 hours. And at the time of this recording, that's crazy. Euphoria is the number five trending song on YouTube music and has gotten almost 17 million total views. Now you might think that any video on YouTube with a multi-million view count would equal a fat paycheck.
But from what I researched, it's quite the opposite. So this is where this is where you really start dropping gems. And I always knew that YouTube took some sort of percentage. And I always knew that they paid different rates per like genre of video, depending on if it's music, not music, you know, stuff like that. And also depending on there's like a there's a CPM like click click per something ratio. And so a lot all, all of that information, but it's it's a little it's a little a little wild, but he's about to break it down. According to this study that breaks down how much money YouTube and of course music, like I've been stating in my videos, gets paid out the least for most of these most of these genres and most of these areas that they're that he's about to talk about. Who pays depending on the nature of a video, the music genre makes one dollar and forty six cents per one thousand views. And truth be told, it's not even YouTube that pays the creator. It's the advertisers. See, whenever you go to watch a YouTube video and an ad plays, a company is paying YouTube money to have that ad shown to viewers. And that's how people are actually making money from their content on YouTube. But remember that $1.46 from the article? If advertisers are paying that amount to YouTube, don't you think YouTube is taking a cut of that? Absolutely. <laughs> and if you thought they weren't, Go ahead and, you know what I'm saying, get the get the get the coal, get the wool off your eyes, get the wool from off your eyes and the coal out your eyes, whatever the saying is, just go ahead, open them up, make sure they're clear, cause YouTube gonna get that cut. He gonna say he's gonna say how much here in a second, but I didn't know it was that much. And I'll explain exactly how big of a cut they're taking soon. But first let's take a look at what happened next between these two artists. On May 3rd, just a few days after Euphoria, Drake responded with a song called Family Matters that is over seven and a half minutes long. This was the first and only upload of the series that had an official music video along with it. Today, this upload is trending number two on YouTube music. And by this point, everyone was becoming hooked by the back and forth between these two legends. Near now, I think that, I don't know as far as the trending goes, which one is still trending above the other, but like the following Monday after that, the, the weekend, the Monday right after Mother's Day weekend, which is when all this went down, um, there was already reports about it being ranked in Drake. Kendrick had more streams, but Drake was was uh, ranked higher on YouTube. And I think, I, I could be wrong, but I'm going to guess that it was because he actually had a music video. So that's just my guess. And he didn't, uh, Just Notified doesn't really mention that, I don't think in this video, but in my in my opinion, I'm just going to guess that the way YouTube ranks and pushes content, the visual went further than the 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 audio, if that makes sense. Nearly 125,000 people commented on this video. And within That's days, crazy. Family Matters got over 16 million views from folks around the world. But the hype was short lived. Within an hour of That's Family crazy. Matters coming out, Kendrick Lamar uploaded another song called Meet the Grams that shocked everyone that was following this beef that was like 35 Within a minutes days, later meet the grams got over 18 million views and was yet again drawing even more attention i was i was on youtube listening to family matters and kendrick dropped meet the grams about 35 minutes later and then then we went from there from hundreds of youtubers on the platform that reacted to it and just when everyone thought it couldn't go any further Yet another track was released the very next day by Kendrick Lamar. This song is titled Not Like Us, and it shattered the view counts of every other upload in the series to this point. In just a couple days, the YouTube video reached over 23 million views and is still getting about 100,000 views per hour. Now, this back and forth had to come to an end at some point. And that end was when Drake uploaded his final track titled The Heart Part 6 on May 5th. And as of today, this track has been played over 13 million times on YouTube. So now that all the numbers are finally in, let's take a look at how much money, or should I say how little money, that YouTube paid both Drake and Kendrick for these viral moments. And he's not lying. It's, it's, it's a lot of money, but 
not as much when people see those millions of views they think it's more than it is especially with music videos and it's not if you see a million views on somebody who did something educational they probably got more out they got probably got more outcome or paid out more than someone who got a million views for a music video starting with drake throughout this series he uploaded three songs that added up to be 39 million total views. Based on the study, if his channel earned $1.46 per 1,000 views, Drake would have earned $56,940 for all the tracks on his page. But now, like I said, that's a lot of money, but I'm gonna I'm stop, I'm gonna quit stopping the video, but then just listen, listen to what my man, how he breaks it down. Like I mentioned earlier, YouTube takes a cut of those earnings. Yes, sir. And it's not a small cut either. Of the $56,940, YouTube keeps 45% of the earnings, 45. which would leave Drake with $31,317 for 39 million views. So to those of y'all who ain't catch it, like he said, the people who pay for the ads, they the, the companies pay us what we're getting so the ads that are put in front of the videos is what generates the money and then that's paid to youtube youtube takes their cut and then we get our cut so he generated the 56 some odd thousand that he was saying whatever and he was left with thirty thousand. so it's like it's a lot of money but then once once youtube take their cut it's not really a lot of money so that is that's crazy let me know in the comments if you think that that's a good payout for a multi-million viewed series but now let's move on to Kendrick and check out his stats. Throughout the series, Kendrick also uploaded three songs that added up to be 58 million views total. Going back to the study, if his channel earned $1.46 per 1,000 views, Kendrick would have earned $84,680 for all of his uploads. And with YouTube taking almost half the cut, the true amount that Kendrick would see for over 58 million views would be $46,574. Now, I don't know about you, but if I was to manage to get 58 million views somehow, I'd be expecting a lot more money than that. But here's the interesting thing about YouTube. There's actually no two creators that get paid the exact same amount of money. Looking back at the study, Music is one of the lowest earning genres on YouTube, but other video topics such as finance and social media marketing can make anywhere between 12 to $13 per thousand views. Imagine if Drake would have been making $13 per thousand views on 39 million. Instead of him getting only 30,000, he would have made over $275,000. And for the 58 million views Kendrick racked up, he would have made over $400,000 instead of just $46,000. Nice but it's not just major hip hop icons that have the opportunity to make money from uploading content to YouTube. I actually interviewed a small YouTuber recently that only had a couple thousand subscribers when one of her videos went viral and got around 2 million views. And she made nearly $10,000 from that video alone after YouTube took their cut. Again, that's still a nice check. <laughs> it's still a nice check. Quiet as it's kept, YouTube is affording people the chance to quit their nine to five and run their own businesses just by pressing record on a camera. And my channel is all about helping you make more money so that you can eventually work for yourself by creating content online. So if you wanna learn how to build a profitable brand on YouTube, like and subscribe to get more insights. I've linked a ton of free tools in the show notes below to get you started. And I'll be back soon. All right. So and that was just just notified. So make sure y'all go subscribe and follow him. I'm going to put his actual video in the link of my um, my description in my video and good information. I watched a couple of his videos um, so far. So I do like what he's what he's talking about and some of the ways he's approaching it as far as making money online and online in particular. And approaching your YouTube like a business. So me personally, like I've been stating with these episodes that I've been doing, I, I try not to jump out the window too early, but I always try to 
brand and put a name on whatever type of segment that I'm doing. So I think we're going to stick with the independent information. And for me, that will be the segment name. But as y'all know, my whole campaign is still at it. It's just about being persistent and still learning and, and you know, just getting up after you fall down. And when you it's trial and error. This whole thing is trial and error. I love love music. I'm actually approaching this thing as a business now. So there's still some stuff that I'm learning. And I've been making certain attempts and taking certain strikes at things things for a long time. And now I'm actually just at a point now where things are starting to get in motion for myself. So any other information that I can gain and I can apply and actually get results from, I want to bring it to the squad and I want to talk about it. Or if it's information that, I, that I've that i been through and I hear people bring up and speak on in some of the podcasts or information that I, I usually consume throughout the week while I'm trying to just gather information or maybe learn new things or whatever, I want to bring it to the squad so we can talk about it. So again, I go by the name of Hemingway and I hope this is something that's helpful for you. YouTube definitely does pay. As we now know, music is one of the lesser paid genres of content that gets paid out on YouTube. But nonetheless, if you're putting in the work and you're doing what you need to do, you got your subscribers, you get your watch time, you can get monetized, you can start getting some money. And even if you're making five to ten grand a month, you know, three grand a month. That's that's a nice check, man. And it's a great way to make a living and not have to work a traditional nine to five. So all I can say about YouTube is make sure you do your homework before you start posting and doing certain things, man. Make sure you do your homework. I go by the name of Hemingway. Until next time, I'm out. Oh, and before I get out of here, I can't go without saying, please make sure that if you like this video and if it brings you any value, subscribe. Leave a comment down in the comments. Let's have a conversation. Tell me what you think about it and share with a friend or a fellow musician if you think this is something that they also could relate to or gain some value from. Till next time, I'm out.